For this first video, we're going to do a pom-pom sensory bin. So this is an idea that I got from Busy Toddler. Um, and we're just going to dump. I don't have very many. I just have a few that I brought home from school. But I'm just going to dump these buckets of pom-poms into my water. It's a really cool texture. If you don't have a lot of these, like I do, using the smaller bin is probably going to be a better experience. But I'm going to put some scoops in here and a colored bowl but don't, you can throw in a mixture of toys it doesn't all have to be the same kind of toy so this is what my pom-poms look like in my sensory bin like I said I do not really have a lot of them so it looks pretty barren but they feel really cool I have some of the big ones so I probably don't have quite enough water in there to get them like underwater and all floaty but you can give your child scoops and have them practice scooping out of this. And we can do, you know, we can pick them up and put them in the bucket. I can sort out the white ones. Uh, if you have kitchen tongs like we used for the color sorting video, that's another tool that would be really good for them to practice with. Or I've got my big one cup measuring scoop. If you've got objects like this in here for your child, I definitely encourage you to tell them like how much that measurement is. That's a fun thing to practice. We can talk about how many pom-poms it takes to fill up the bowl. So I'm just going to go ahead and play with this for a minute or so, narrate for the kids how I'm using it. I want to know how many pom-poms I can fit in my green bowl. So I'm going to use my orange scoop. Let's see, I can put one big blue one, I can put two big blue ones, and three big blue ones, and four big blue ones, but now I have no more big blue ones. Let's do white. i do one big white one, and two big white ones. And three big white ones. That looks pretty full. Look at that. Look how full my bowl is. I want to know how many I put in here. So let's count together. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. And look how much water I got in here. Are you ready? Doesn't that sound so cool, guys? These are really soft. I like to pet these. They feel soft like my puppy. What do you guys think your pom-poms feel like? Are they soft? Are they hairy? What do they look like when they're in the water? Do yours float at all or are they sinking to the bottom? I have a little purple one. My little one is floating, but my big one goes all the way to the bottom of my bucket. Miss Erin is going to put an ice cube tray in here. I wonder if my pom-poms can fit in my ice cube tray. Well, I'm going to make some ice cream. Let's do one white one and a blue one and an orange one. Does anybody want some ice cream? I'm gonna scoop my ice cream out. Let's eat the blueberry ice cream. Mm. Mm, I'm pretending to eat my blueberry ice cream. That's so silly. Um, what do you think this one tastes like? This one is orange. Do you think it tastes like the orange fruit? Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. That's good, it tastes like orange juice. Do you drink orange juice at your house? So Jaguar friends, while I'm playing with this, I'm being really careful that I don't splash my water out because once I splash out all the water, it's gonna be all gone and I'm not gonna have any more to play with. Miss Erin drops the pom-poms when she plays with them, so it's okay to splash a little bit, but we don't want big splashes that are gonna make a mess everywhere, okay? Alright Jaguars, so that's how Miss Erin plays with her pom-pom sensory bin. I hope you guys have so much fun playing with this. Grown-ups, I'm going to send you a link for how to clean up these pom-poms when we're all done with them.